Now, if you thought that Prime Minister's questions could get a little bit tense, just take a look at this clip from a council meeting in Cheshire. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority at all. She's just kicked him out. I, I, no, no, she's kicked him out. Don't, don't. She's kicked him out. Don't. This is a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. They now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. <gasps> Well, it would appear that Jackie Weaver did think she had authority because that was the very moment that the chairman of Handsforth's Planning and Environment Committee was then removed from the Zoom call last December. The recording from that meeting, all 18 minutes of it, has gone viral online. Well, Jackie Weaver, the council host who made that decision, has been speaking to Sky's Katerina Batozzi to explain exactly what happened at the now notorious meeting. These things don't start on the night, they start before. Um, and for me, um, you know, democracy is, is hugely important. I mean, it starts with town and parish councils. You had um, three councillors who had done all the right things. You know, they follow all the rules and they still weren't getting it. Yeah? So they had tried to get the chairman to call a meeting, he refused. Um, they asked him in his capacity as clerk to hold a meeting. He refused. So they exercised their right under the 1972 Act for two councillors to hold a meeting. So they put a lot of effort in to, to trying to make this meeting happen. And they'd done all the right... And for me, that's hugely important. They'd done the right thing, you know? They hadn't just come in and said, you know, we'll ride roughshod over everything and we'll hold this meeting. They'd done all the right things. And then we have... Um, the chairman who comes in and says, I'm not, in effect, I'm not going to allow this meeting to take place. And you don't have an awful lot of time to process what's going on at that moment. It's happening immediately. And I did what I felt was the only thing that I could do to enable them to hold this meeting. Otherwise, it would have been shut down. Hence, putting the three councillors ultimately in the waiting room where they left. I, I mean, you know, they had the opportunity to come back into the meeting if they wanted to participate with the meeting, but they didn't want to participate in the meeting. They wanted to stop it. You know, I, I did expect it to be a tense meeting. I never expected to see behaviour like that. I mean, the idea of tensions within, you know, a um, you know local democracy is not new. I mean, I can't have been doing this job for that long and think everybody just gets on really happily. But I've never seen anything like that. I don't think an apology would mean a great deal to me. I, I think what I would want is some kind of recognition from them that maybe they didn't do the right thing. I wouldn't even put it as far as an apology, um, but just some kind of recognition we could have done that differently. That would be good. Do you think gender has a role to play in their, in the tenor of how they were expressing themselves? I think it's difficult to think that it didn't. Um, I, I mean, that there are a number. I, I haven't memorised the whole thing yet, um, but I think there are a number of occasions where they, they certainly refer to me in a very derogatory way. Um, so that, you know, it, it's hard to say that no, sex doesn't play any part in it. I think it probably does. How does it feel to now be in this, this strange position of having, you know, the world feeling like, you know, go Jackie Weaver? I think it's... The, the go Jackie Weaver is, is um, you know, I, I kind of feel with that, yeah, until something happens different tomorrow, it's more exciting. So I'm not quite sure it's gone to my head, but ask me tomorrow.